Are you curious about how to create a service value stream for a new service? Well, I'm Joe Peacock at IT Pro TV, and this is what the pros know. So I want to start off with a look at the service value chain. The service value chain is something that you recognize from ITIL 4. This is it right here. So how do we create a service value stream then from the service value chain? Well, for a new service, of course, we are always going to start off with demand. And demand is this. Demand is well, it's a request from a customer. A customer, of course, defines what the requirements are for any new service. And of course, we know that the sponsor is the person that actually finances that new service. So the customers define their requirements. So we have the demand. And the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to plan that new service. Now, when we plan that new service, we will need to engage with our stakeholders. These are not just our external stakeholders. These are also our internal stakeholders. We have to, first of all, identify who our stakeholders are, who our critical stakeholders are, and what role they will play. And also, we have to engage with them. Now, this is a point in time where we start the negotiation of contracts. We don't necessarily finish negotiating contracts, and we certainly don't manage them on a day-to-day -day basis just yet, because we don't have anything agreed. But this is where we start that initial, um, that initial notification to our external stakeholders. And then we move into design. And design is where we design our new service. Once we have our service designed, then we're going to move back to engage. Because moving back to engage means that we're going back to our stakeholders. And I'm referring to not just our users and our um, customers, but also to our external stakeholders with our specific requirements and saying, OK, to our customers, is this really what you wanted? This is what we've designed. And to our external stakeholders, this is what we need from you. And then at this point in time, then, we make the decision based on feedback that comes from our external stakeholders. Are we going to obtain from an external stakeholder or are we going to build something new? So then we move into here. Once that decision has been made, we then move into transition. And transition, I'm going to change the color on this, actually, just to make it a little bit easier. We move into transition, and transition is where we transition what we have built or what we have bought into the live environment. So we carry on then delivering now that service to our users. And of course, on an ongoing basis, we then support that service. Now, over on the right-hand side here, you'll see that we've got our products and services, and that's what we've been talking about. We are delivering and we are supporting products and services that therefore enable value co-creation with our end users and our end customers. So that's how we've created a service value stream for a new service. But of course, this is just an example and we create so many service value streams containing all of the necessary practices and processes to enable value co-creation. So check out our playlist for more great What the Pros Know. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to our IT Pro TV channel. But for now, I'm Joy Peacock and you know what the pros know.